Good morning and welcome back to another episode of the Lock Conversion Series. So as you can see behind me now, transformation. Yesterday was, uh, and the day before, ridiculously warm. But um, today's a bit cooler. So the plan today is, let's go and have a look. Mick's just marking out for the cheeks of the dormers. Good morning Mick. Morning. Here he is in there, look. Mark's down there sorting the timber out for the... Morning Mark. Morning. Mark's down there sorting out the OSB that we've got to get for around the front and then he's just got the timber up for all these uh, window um, openings and what have you, all the sills and crippled eggs etc. So while Mick does that, I'll form these in. We go back and that's better. But this is the plan today. Get all this plywood in today, all this set today, get us all enclosed. Obviously as I've already talked about, that is a patio so that'll be as open as it is other than having to put, I've talked about already, a triple 4x2 beam in there uh, and then I'll be fixed with crippled eggs underneath which I'll show you in a minute so yeah so as I just said hot couple of days but uh, we got done what we needed to get done and we're really pleased about that because I think the is the, the, the forecast changed there isn't it Mick it's not raining anymore is it I don't think yeah, there's a slight chance today yeah, slight don't chance of rain today <laughs> we don't care because we're hard um, we don't care now because we've got the roof on so we really don't care anymore but uh, the only chance we've got now of getting wet is just this bit here, but that's that's soffit and it's outside, so we're not that bothered. Uh, and the fact it's cooler is just a lot more comfortable. So let's uh, let's crack on with it then. I'll film a bit of uh, cutting and fixing, and and I'll show you what we're doing with regard to the window openings uh, in terms of setting them out and these this use of crippled legs. Um, it's a term some of you might not might not know what it is, but uh, the Americans are, are big on it. They all their terminology because they're big framers, aren't they? But um, yeah, I'll show you what we are and what we're up to, and uh, let's see how much we get done today. Okay, so we've moved on. Sorry if you wanted to see any footage on this, but we're just trying to get this in before we do get a little bit of rain. But all we've done, I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments anyway, but all I've done is, is we've made a triple 4x2 beam all nailed together. Let me put our, let me pan out, sorry, our cripple legs in all the way down to the bottom there. Then we're going to put some further support off our steel plates and vertical under there as well. Likewise over there, we've got to put some structure on the bottom there now just to catch this last bit of rafter. So you're going to put a piece of timber on there, vertical, and then screw it into that rafter. Um, and then that's the window set out now. Same as over there, put the cripples either side to carry the header, which is that one. And then a small cripple in to carry the sill. And then just to finish off now, I'm going to put a triple forward to across there and a couple of trip cripple legs either side there, and that'll form our, our patio opening. So that's what we're doing now then. Mark's just cutting some timber, ready to fill under there. And we're uh, on our way then. Mick's already got the the uh, Jenga, Jenga jigsaw outside, ready for the cheeks, all cut outside. So we'll get that fired on, and hopefully by the end of play today we can start putting some... Uh, go on, get me words out. Some of the... Uh, yeah, some of that. Gee, felt. I just couldn't get me words out then. Putting some felt wrap around just to... Just to cover all the OSB in. So there we go. Okay, end of the day now. Really pleased with today's progress. So we've got the plywood on the cheeks. On there, same as that side. We've uh, put a bit of temporary uh, felt us across the front in case we do get any blowing of rain tonight, but we're happy with that. Structured all the windows in. And if you can see there, we've obviously because we've got the, the cripples, we've put extra structure in below those. Put a bit of extra structure in on all these rafters as well on the front. So we put these in and then we've screwed these into there. And that's all the way across. Wherever there's a, a cripple, we've obviously put extra timber in below it as well. That's all the way across, same as there, all the way across. Because we've got the steel there on that one, we just put some, some timber there. Three pieces of 7 2 vertical just to catch that cripple and then we'll put a timber next to catch a cripple and the same that side so we're happy with that all the beams in the four what are now four by four by six beams almost 45 mil 47 mil timber so they're carrying that they're all fixed into the head of the, the plate as well the head plate what we are going to do is because we wanted to get the roof on last night 
what we ideally want to do was these would have been fixed down from the top but because we can't do that now we've got some uh, six inch screws and we're just going to put some about three in that one each of these in each side and probably four in that one up directly into the into the head plate so that's us then so tomorrow we will be moving on to plywood in all the face of this that'll all be done and then we'll get the um we'll be able to get the wrap then that we've got left over and wrap all the way around to get it watertight then the rubber has just turned up which uh, is downstairs that's just coming it's right on all the trims if you've seen the garden room series you've seen us already use this product very very good product quite easy to use as well and looks really tidy when it's done so we'll be using that good morning welcome back to the lock conversion series so if you're uh, an avid watcher and you've been with us all the way through this so far you'll know at what point we're at now um, but if you're not then the dorm was all on now this lock conversion we've just got a plywood all this facing outside now as you can see all the dormer cheeks are on they're all done on the, um, the side that's uh, behind me now that's all waterproofed in because we'd already got a piece of felt in place <laughs> So we put this bit of felt on there last night, just in case there was any rain overnight, which it was it was meant to be, but we didn't luckily. Just can't stop it blowing in. So we'll take that off, we'll get some measurements, plow all this in, and then we'll waterproof it back in. But we will be covering over the window openings just to make sure that there isn't any uh, chance of any water coming in. Because the next job after that is to put all the chipboard flooring down here. So just before I cover it over, I just thought I'd show you it, uh, it all done. All, uh, all plywood in. We've used a couple of uh, rips in there because, well, I'm not going to talk about the price of MSB. So, whereas that would have gone in the skip and would have put a full sheet in there, not anymore. You, you talk, you're probably talking a tenner for that little strip now. But anyway, it's all structurally sound anyway. We put a couple of rips behind it and it's also 400 centres, so we're happy anyway. In fact, there's a noggin there in the middle of one of them anyway. So, uh, I can't justify myself anymore on that. So yeah, we're all done. This is a full window openings now. What we're gonna have to do, I'll get the router and take this down like that now. Take that down like that. Um, and then this is the full opening now for the patio doors. And it's a bit of a Juliet balcony. So I think they're gonna have, I don't know if it's gonna be a metal one, yeah, cast iron or um, a glazed one or whatever. So, so yeah, but this is all done around there we've just been through and metal, metal pinned all of the joist hangers all the way across as you can see some of them have still got the uh, the orange sleeving on them but we're just knocking them off now so it's not too high so like I say that's all done these are done all the way through all the way through there now what we'll do is we'll start from the last board we put down the footage you would have already seen and then we'll uh, come across and it spans i think to about here i think which is good that works out well and we'll our roll all the way down there go around our stairwell where mark is just there and then tomorrow which is friday the staircase is coming and we'll have a look trying to get that in so the customer can get up here then and start looking at where they want things set out walls etc even though we are pretty limited as to where we can change them to we can tweak them slightly so uh so yeah that's where we are now i have a little bit of footage of my router and these out because i don't know if you've seen it before we've I've put a short on the channel but i use my little milwaukee hand router and with an upward cutting router bit and run around the frame now take it out all the way through the router that works well so i'll show you that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Uh, I've seen it on a few Framers channels. This is my wheel walkie, so you can use whatever you want. But it's an upward cutting spiral bit. It's got a little bit of a bearing at the bottom, at the top there to run round. And it cuts upwards, strange enough. That's just called the upward spiral bit. And I'll see them all use it for this. I've used it quite a few times and it really works well.
And there we go. All nice and tidy, all trimmed off nice and flush. Does the job really well. So I'll do the other one on this side now. And uh, I'll cover myself in more ice, but it does shall I? I'm holding my breath. Uh, right, time for the tidy up. Get these floorboards. Mm -hmm.